Uh, my name is Scott Holcomb, and I'll talk to you about the uh, Halden Core Data Viewer and a measurement system uh, called Gamma Tomography that we have in Halden. So I have a short video here, and I'll try to talk and keep pace with the video. Uh, so here you see the Halden reactor hull. Uh, there's the reactor right there, and we have a, this Core Data Viewer, so we can visualize the core during operation. So you can see the high power and low power regions of the core. Uh, and you can uh, scale what you look at in the image to see different parts of the core, the high power, low power regions, uh, what you're interested in during operation. So we can also look at the spent fuel pool, uh, which is where we would do gamma tomography measurements on uh, spent fuel. You can select one element to look at. This is showing a power distribution in this fuel assembly, but it could be power distribution or uh, burn up or even decay heat, if you like. Uh, you can also scale the image to look at high power, low power regions, or hot or cold regions of the fuel. Um, and then we have uh, a video of loading a cask in the pool. So we can use the gamma tomography measurements to characterize the fuel so you can more fully utilize, for example, burn up credit or uh, the decay heat considerations for loading a cask. And you can also locate failed fuel. Okay, you don't need to watch the video again. You can also locate failed fuel rods because you can't put those in a cask without encapsulation. Uh, and gamma tomography is also useful for safeguards considerations. So you can find, uh, you can verify burn up, cooling time, uh, and probably also uh, look for fissile content. Okay, that was uh, all I had in my demos right over here. <laughs> 